police command has provided more information about some strange travelers that were seen coming into Kano State on their camels. According to the report from Legit Ausa, there were some people from Kano State that alerted the police officers after feeling uncomfortable with the strangers who were said to come from Niger Republic. The Kano State Police Public Relations Officer, ASP Haruna, said, We have carried out a joint investigation with immigration officers in Kano State and we have found out that the travelers have traveling documents. He continued saying, We did not find them with any thing related to terrorism. They came to Kano State in order to sell their products and buy food, according to their traveling documents. They will not stay longer than 21 days in Nigeria. According to reports gathered from Kano State, the travelers were seen in a large number. People were in panic due to the security situation in the country. <laughs> I listened to somebody on radio yesterday. I think the man, the person is a, is a retired a immigration officer. He said a lot of people that has been happening over and over again when people were complaining about uh, people, the influx of uh, all this uh, Fulani SMF across the Africa uh, uh, country countries that as a immigration officer that they will just give them paper and i remember this document that that is how they come in that they just come in anyhow you know it's a free place to come now since buari said visa on arrival well, do they even do they even have passports in the first place so the woman was saying that uh, they will just give them you know when he was still serving in that particular area and that's a northern zone but that is how they come into this country they will just write a they say they will give them documents and they will just, just, just be coming they will be coming and be coming and this is exactly what is happening again they are telling us that uh, they are not going to stay more than 21 days do you people have records do you people even go after those who uh even overstay their 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 uh, their uh, uh, overstay their duration of coming into this country do you have anything that you can pinpoint that is how they deceive themselves that is how they deceive themselves but before you know it again these people all of them will be lost inside nigeria or in other parts of the countries they will not they might not stay in that canoe before you know you start seeing them in the south it's unfortunate when people talk about because it was just we have a porous borders across board especially from that north porous border and that is how they find themselves find their way into the south and they will not be giving you say telling you giving you one nonsense constitution that uh, everybody has the right to to live go and check those people whether they are nigerians in the first place people coming up coming from another country that's how they create problems for the southerners they want to create problem if you want to create problem create problem for yourself and stop transporting them to the south if you want them to stay in that place good and fine which is not even supposed to be where well, the North should go their own way and become an Islamic Republic of Niger of Northern Nigeria. Yes, you wake up enough is enough. Police immigration take time. North are not going anywhere. They are the one to control you, boy. So don't deceive yourself. <laughs> the time will reach. Mm. I preferred one Nigeria, but I am 90% convinced that it is not attainable, especially given the aggressive and cheating nature of the north so instead of us instead of instead of killing ourselves i agree we can separate in peace so the north will be free to join the niger and their islamic republic and decorate their terrorists and bandits the way they like and their cows can sleep on their beds if they so wish honestly i am fed up this is one of the reasons for the railways from nigeria to niger hey the project is taking time. That is why they have decided to be coming in, coming in gradually to assist their brothers to invade. They are in for, they are in for war. Hmm. Your all is what they, they like most. They don't collect 80% since without us knowing what is happening, Britain supports them because they have been benefiting from the oil. They will not leave the oil low. It is totally wrong for the government to allow such travelers at this point in time that a lot of evil things are happening in the country, starting from the north. Who knows what they are up to? Nigeria is totally something else. You are absolutely right. Even if they are incompetent, innocent, innocent people, uh, the timing is very wrong. They should be asked to return to their country immediately. Where are we heading to in Nigeria? 
they know these things the government wants it they will not tell them they they know they know all this that's why they brought all of this all of these people outside from outside the country and that's why you see that they are very very and they are so 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 brutal they have started soon you will see what will be happening again like i said before you know it you begin to see them in in lagos in the southern part of the country nothing anybody can do now we voted for problem to the end of problem tenor we have changed from peace to problem millions of northern nigeria are from niger republic nigerians where are we where are we so naive we are not naive the government are pretend government is pretending to be naive but they know what they are doing there are many nigerians in lagos that have spent many years without traveling documents hmm. buhari may now may know their mission ends they are from niger republic i suspect some people are preparing for war there is war already on ground very soon they will start exploding everywhere because there is an agenda on ground already this man no talking see why that you may not talking about fulanization it's he called it the name it the way it is he called it by the id name Fulanization and Islamization. That is it. And all of you know, say, make it go sit down, say what you do during your own time. And I said it, if Yawa begins to gas, you know, go affect Tinu uh, Obasanjo, it won't affect him. This is how the terrorists come in. After all, you cannot differentiate them from their Fulani brothers. This is pure terrorists and terrorism. Who gave them visas? Usama Bilani used Kame escape from Afghanistan into Pakistan. Useless country with 30 presidents and honest leaders anyway. We shall all perish here together when the jungle matures. How can a reasonable government import terrorists into its territory? IGP Adamu Mohammed, please spread your tentacles. Let your men. Who, who, who is who is who is who is a IGP? You think he's a, he's on his own? Who extended his a, his position? Is it not the same government? So he's going to he's going to work in accordance with the person that put him there, not in accordance to the constitution, not in accordance to the people of the country. He's not going to work. He's going to work according to to the government or the cabal that put him there. So when I hear people say, "Oh, do this, do this," it's like you don't know what is happening. What can Adamu do without Buari? Now I believe it's the person that was voted for is dead. That is it. Obviously. We should be conscious this time around, and governments at all levels should wake up to the task of security matter. It is an irony to encourage such business pattern. We've advanced. Please let all concerned authorities halt such movement tactics. Please don't let things go beyond control. It has already gone beyond control. Let them come back. Let them go back. They are terrorists. These visitors are for northerners. North for Nigeria as a whole. From Nigeria, they go cross enter Biafra, do business small before going back to their country. Okay, with or without papers, with the current security challenges, immigration has no reason to allow them into the country. Do we allow them? There's an agenda, we can't dispute that. So, guys, let's hear your opinion on this.